So here we have Alice, who woke up and decided that she dreamed it, or the cat dreamed it, or the Red King dream, or that she or the Red King dreamed it. So here you have the two chances that, you know, was she actually being dreamt of in someone else's dream? And I've always wondered if that was a thing that could happen, if two people could dream a dream together. And I mean, there's been some movies made about that. And it's an interesting premise, but I don't think it really happens. It's kind of cool if it would, but eh, it does. I don't think it happens. And another thing, another thing that caught my attention on this was she talked about how the cat always just purrs in it as an answer. It purrs for yes, it purrs for no, it purrs for whatever. And there have been a series of movies that came out, Guardians of the Galaxy. And it did crossovers with the Avengers. But in Guardians of the Galaxy, there's a character called Groot. And Groot is a giant tree. Then he kind of died and came back as a little tree. And then it's growing bigger and bigger as the movies go on. So anyway, Groot. And Groot always says... I am Groot. No matter what he's asked, no matter what it is, I am Groot. And the thing about this is, though, that the actor who played it, the actor who played Groot, had a script. And the script had actual lines. So the script could have said, I think this is a bad idea, I think we need to go home. But it was, I am Groot. And the other actors had the script with what the actual lines are. So here we are in the audience hearing, I am Groot. And the rocket would respond, I know what you're saying, Groot, but we have to go on. And so they were all, you know, everyone understood what it was because, you know, they had it written in their scripts, but I am Groot. And so the actor who voiced it, uh, Vin Diesel, really huge nerd from what I've everything I've read about him says he's just like this total nerd which is kind of cool but anyway had the script had the lines and so he intoned the line to try and confer whatever emotion Groot would have saying the line and then he did this again in other languages so when it came time to dub the movie in Chinese he would say I am Groot in Chinese. And I don't think he speaks Chinese, but he did it phonetically. Um, if he did it in German, Ich bin Groot. French, Je suis Groot. However, I think that's right. Uh, soy Groot in Spanish. And so, you know, it's like he dubbed all of these with the meanings behind it. So it's like, we need to get to the ship. Soy Groot. But, yeah, so that's, I, yeah, so it's just like, I don't know, I thought that was kind of cool and funny. And, you know, it's the cat is giving the same answer, and Alice couldn't understand it, unlike us. Or unlike, you know, the other characters in the movie. Now, the poem at the end is, uh, the poem at the end is an acrostic. Now, an acrostic is where you have a whole bunch of lines of poetry, or sometimes it's done with prose. And the beginning, it's easier with poetry because you can play around with line lengths and such, and it doesn't have to be completely coherent. But you start out with one letter spelling something out as you go down. And there's all sorts of funny instances of this on the internet where people have bit a little bit too clever and spelled out things and I admit that a couple of times in high school I did it because I was bored and frustrated and uh, occasionally the teacher was like what did you do here it's like eh, yeah but uh, anyway so it's an acrostic and it spells out Alice Pleasance Little Liddell, who was a friend of Lewis Carroll's, who he kind of babysat. 
So he was friends of the family. And here he was. He kind of tutored the kids and kind of babysat them. And Alice was one of them. And Alice was the Alice in the story. And this was a story that was originally told to her um, and her siblings. And so, you know, he told this story to her. And one of his, you know, his friends overheard it. It's like, you should write this down. So he wrote it down and got it published and wrote it down and got it published and made money. But um, they made more money on this than he did doing math. But he still did okay doing math. Anyway, so that's an acrostic there. And this is the end of Through the Looking Glass.